smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335i. I know we're inside of a car and we're not inside the 335i, as you guys can see. We're in the 330i, and that's because we're gonna go pick up some parts for the 335. I found a guy, he's parting out his car. I'm gonna go down with my friend Erlon. We're gonna go part out the car. Um, we're gonna try to take the front seat, the rear seats, um, the window regulator, the door panel. I'm gonna try to get as much interior as possible for 120 bucks. I'm gonna I'm gonna offer 120 and take as much stuff as I can that I need for the interior of my car, and you know offer 120. You know it's the best I can do. Um, normally, when you go when people part out their cars, I gotta talk to them over the phone. He, they let go of things really you know cheap because they're just trying to part out the car and then they're gonna take it down to the junkyard. They don't wanna leave a car parted out in front of their house for so long, like how I did. I basically got down to the points where I was like, you guys can come get free stuff because I'm gonna take it out of the junkyard regardless. So he's hooking, it up, he's hooking it up for a good deal. He's about an hour away, so about to head down there right now. I'm about to meet up with my friend Earl on. And uh, yeah, so you guys are gonna see him. We're gonna get some good parts. We're gonna go back home. And we also have another surprise for you guys when we get home. So got a lot of things to do today. I'll cut back to you guys when I'm with Earl on. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are here. I'm at Erlon's place. I actually just saw him head out. He's actually gonna go get the truck, so I'm waiting on him to get the truck. And then once he gets back, we're gonna be on our way. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be recording at his house when I pick out the parts, mainly because it's awkward, and at the same time, I don't want him to think that I'm invading his privacy and all that stuff, maybe recording his address and putting it on the web or something. I don't want to cause any problems, so. We're gonna go ahead and wait on that. Um, we're gonna wait on Erlon to get back, and then once he gets back, um, yeah, so we're just gonna pick up the parts from the car. That's pretty much it. I'll show you guys, and I'll show you guys exactly what we got when I actually get back. So, um, it's pretty much a check in. I'll check back with you guys uh, when I'm there and when I'm getting the stuff. All right, you're right. All right, so guys, I'm finally in Erlon's place. We're taking the truck. So, that's Erlon. You guys have seen him multiple times. His brother for the first time. So, yeah, we're gonna be heading out on the truck in a little bit, but as you guys can see, look at the lineup of BMWs right here. It's all good. We got the E46 as well. You know, we're mixing it up a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna head down. We're gonna go pick up the seats right now. Um, you know, hopefully we're gonna hit it up with the package deal because you're gonna get all kinds of stuff, right? You're getting like the dash for your car. What else? Yeah, you we need a, a black dash, black carpet, and then uh, one black seat for my brother's G90. Yeah. Because we're doing the swap. And then I'm getting the other seat and then the rear seats. And then we're gonna try to negotiate for just all kinds of miscellaneous things. So now we're gonna see what we're gonna do. We'll check back with you guys when I actually get this stuff. My body aches to be satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm reaching out for the easy high Please fortify this strength of mine All right, guys, so we just arrived back at Erlon's place. I didn't record anything over there, mainly because the area was not the greatest, I ain't gonna lie, but at the same time, um, we got some good seats, the guys were chill. I mean, I actually hooked it up fat. Like, I got I got a pretty decent seat. It's pretty, it looks kind of shiny. Which one's mine? Mine's is shinier than the passenger seat, but you guys know driver's seats. And we got the whole rear seats, we got the driver, I mean, we got a passenger um, door panel, we got a window regulator, we got all kinds of stuff for 120 around there, and I meant I'll talk about all the pricing and everything when we, get, when we actually get back to my place. I'm actually gonna load some of this stuff onto my car, and then we're gonna head back to my place and get them the other seat on my car, because I'm actually giving them the seat that's currently in my car and putting in the new one in my car, because um, cause you guys know I'm gonna do the convert, I'm gonna do, because ah. you guys know that I'm gonna be taking out the brown interior, putting in the 335, and taking the black interior, putting in the 330 out later down the road. So I want it to be at least decent when I sell it. So that's why I gotta make sure that the interior is pretty mint. Probably gonna end up putting some of the stuff in today, so we'll catch you guys when I actually get back. Alright guys, I am a little bit sweaty because I've been working inside of a car all day, but anyways guys, so we're back home, we got the new seat, you know, it kind of has that wet look that I don't like, I don't know how that happens, but I, I guess just from use, I don't like it, but my friend told me it's it's easily fixable, so 
We'll get that fixed down the road. As you guys see over here, I got the, all the rear seats. Um, finally got the door panel for that door, which is the only thing I'm missing on that door. And then got the window regulator for this door. So the whole interior should be complete. It should be done. Should, I mean, it should have any, any issues whatsoever. Only thing I gotta worry about now is fixing these holes. Um, fixing the other holes on the other side and then the whole exterior should be good to go um, And we're just on, on some exterior modifications some interior modifications as well and some engine modifications of course So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and try to slam in um, these seats. I might honestly eat something first I'm honestly really hungry. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably get something to eat Come back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So as of now, I got me and my brother about to be working on the interior of the 335. I went to go get something to eat because I was starving. I was out all day. You know, we went super early to go pick up all the stuff from this from his car. I go ahead and start putting the interior on this car because I'm really excited, and I know you guys are tired of hearing me just ramble. <laughs> So this is actually day two. Um, I went ahead, put in the whole interior in the rear. So the interior is done. Put in the new door panel. That door trim just got to get wrapped up. Um, so you guys can also see over here, the whole interior is pretty much done. We got the new um, driver's seat right there with no holes, no nothing. Unfortunately, that is not the heated seat, which is kind of unfortunate, but finding a heated seat is gonna be kind of, like, kind of a challenge. So I was like, you know what? Just gonna pick up a regular seat down in the future. If I ever find a good deal on a heated seat, pick it up and sell this one since I got it for a really good deal anyways. And as you guys can see over there, the whole interior is coming together back here. So yeah, the interior is coming together, guys. All Pretty much, it's all put in place. Everything is done. Like everything, if you sit inside this car, nothing's gonna look out of place. You even got the new CCC system installed. The CCC system does work, which is amazing, which means I can use a dongle, I can read the codes. Um, everything works in that aspect. But unfortunately, we do still have a major problem, which I'll be getting down to in a second. What I want to do also is say a big shout out to Keys Motorsports. They actually sent me out this bumper, which I'm not going to be um, disclosing just yet, but they sent me out this bumper for the rear of the car. So that's really exciting. And then also, as you guys know, I have the front LCI conversion uh, bumper right here. I'm actually throwing away all these seats and all these door panels because they're all, you have some kind of defect. Like, you know, that's got to tear. Door panels, those trims that they got bullet holes through them. All this has got to go. So it's finally all going to be thrown away. I'm going to call the, the 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 truck, and they're going to throw all that stuff away because my dad wants to get rid of all that. Also, shout out to the guy who sent me all this trim. I use what I need from it. I have some leftover trims. If you guys are in the area that need some trim, reach out to me. I got you with the trim. I got like the dash one, the rear seats one the center console one, um, you know, all kinds of different trim pieces. If you guys need it, hit me up. I use everything I could use from this, so shout out to the dude that sent it to me. But yeah, really excited to put on this bumper, but that's not the priority of this video. So what I wanna do today is diagnose the issue with my sound system. So I don't know if you guys know, but the fiber optic cables were cut in this car. And if you guys are music people, you would know that the fiber optic cables is kind of a big deal. So down here, guys, is the amplifier. The amplifier is what gives audio to pretty much the entire sound system. I think I have like the Lux or something like that um, sound system. It does look a little bit like, you know, looks like water did touch it because of these holes right here. So it kind of makes sense that water got on it and could have messed it up. But you know, I feel like even when I replace this, it's not gonna be my problem because you guys know from the last couple videos, Back there, all the fiber off the cables were literally sliced in half because of the bullet. So that's unfortunate. Um, I, I went ahead and also wired everything with the CCC unit, but the fiber off the cables because those are spliced. I can't even put them in. So unfortunately, I think that there is no way I can use the stock sound system at this point. Fiber off the cables are not used by you know most cars, but like mostly like high-end cars or German cars. Most German cars, I'm pretty sure 
use fiber optic cables and then some high-end American or Japanese cars use some fiber optic cables because you know I heard it gives like better sound or something like that but unfortunately if it splices it's over like it's actually over you cannot repair the cables apparently I did a lot of research called a lot of shops I actually called a few shops and they started laughing and said that you are screwed and I'm like oh thanks bud but then I was thinking I was like you know what guys there is no way in hell I'm gonna drive a car without music. I mean, true, I'm gonna have the burble tune, I'm gonna have the charge pipe, I'm gonna hear, you know, the turbo sounds, I'm gonna hear the burbles, I'm gonna hear, you know, the exhaust crackling. It's gonna be a good time, but, you know, music is very essential. So, when I was actually thinking, I'm actually doing a little bit of research of buying a whole new sound system, new amplifier, new subs, new, you know, um, everything, bass system, uh, speakers. I'm gonna do the whole retrofit throughout this entire car. I've seen that no one else did on YouTube, so, I will have to remove all these speakers on this car and replace them. I might, I might as well take them all off now because they don't do anything. Sell them, make a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of money right now, and uh, start adding up all the stuff I need to buy to do this conversion. So what I'm gonna do is get a full aftermarket sound system. So I'm gonna stop talking about that kind of stuff. We do got this bumper here, but we all, what we are gonna do now is that I gotta remove that steering wheel. That steering wheel's gotta go. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut out the steering wheel, you know, splice it up. Check out what, what, what's exactly sitting in that steering wheel because I think the bullet is in this. We're gonna go ahead and rip out the steering wheel, check the bullet, see if that's the bullet, and just remove it because I'm gonna add a new steering wheel that Erlan's hooking me up with. Erlan's been hooking me up with a lot of things. You guys know, I'm, we just went earlier to get the interior for this car. He helped me out fixing my car. He helped me actually fix my brother's car. My brother's car has absolutely no lights. Service engine light went away. Erlan is just an absolute mechanic, you know. He's an angel when it comes to, uh, you know, the mechanics of cars. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get in the car. So I stop rambling, remove the steering wheel. So I gotta disconnect the battery actually first. That's important because when removing the airbag, you don't want that blown up in your face. It's also $300 that's gonna blow up in your face. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. Alrighty, the green line is matched up. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove it, just like that. Paddle, the steering wheel is officially off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the, the bullet right here, show you guys how it looks. Pretty OEM, isn't it? Not too shabby. Okay, so, this is what I've gotten right here. Yeah, it's pretty much destroyed. There's not really much, you can't really tell from it. If you guys know what kind of, I don't even know if you can distinguish what the heck this is. But yeah, that is crazy. And just like that guys, we got the steering wheel out and, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it kind of short for you guys. Trust me, I don't want to cut it short, but there's not really much I could do at this point besides, you know, I got the bumper and everything. The last things that can be said is that I'm going to be attempting to repair these bullet holes one more time, guys, on this side. As you guys know, I, I had my friend come over and he actually checked it out. He saw this side, how I did the body and everything, and he's like, you know what, the foam idea is not a bad idea. He's like, the reason why we weld it is because it's a more of a professional fix, it's more permanent, there's not a single chance that water can go through. Welding it is literally probably the best thing you can do. But he's saying if you end up putting foam in the back, you end up putting some Bondo, then you put in some filler, I mean not filler, and then you put on this like this other coating, so it's with a P. There's no way water can go through, period. Especially since considering the bullet, the, the holes are very minuscule. So I'm gonna be attempting to do it, it's uh, just not in this video, guys. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to be installing the bumpers, I'm going to do the wrap, we're going to be doing all kinds of things to the exterior of the car, and then eventually, yeah, you guys already know, we're going to be working on the engine, we're going to be fixing it up, we're going to be modifying it, we're going to be tuning it, um, we're going to go ahead and probably, even my friend has some springs on me, we're going to do all kinds of crazy stuff in the near future, guys. I'm going to be cutting it short, though, this video, because we got, we did the whole interior, I removed the steering wheel, we're going to be putting a new steering wheel, and the interior is going to be looking as if like nothing happened to the interior. I would like to shout out the, the, the people who purchased the decal since the last video. So Sean Aranda, shout out to you bro. Uh, appreciate you purchasing a decal. Joey Rodriguez, shout out to you my man. Joseph Gallag, Gallag I, I really should stop saying these last names. Joseph, shout out to you bro. Um, we got another Sean, so I'm gonna say the last name, I'm gonna try Ch Choderi. I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm probably, somebody's gonna make like a montage of me just messing up last names, but Sean Chadari, Ch I'm, I'm really bad, but s excuse me. Steve Sheets, we got Corey Villard, and we got Arsul Khan. Shout out to you guys, and then also, one of you guys, I think his name is Francisco, I'm gonna go on to my PayPal real quick. He purchases a decal 
to get my email to see the, the you know the, the where where the money went from where to where he got my email and then went ahead and donated some extra money for the bill yeah so Francisco from Canada um, he went ahead after he purchased a decal he reached out to me and then he got my my PayPal and he went and donated an extra 50 in Canadian to the build which is amazing shout out to you bro 50 bucks is absolutely insane Francisco shout out to you bro I forgot to shout you guys in the beginning of the video I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's sponsoring this build Keys Motorsports didn't have to send out this bumper, but they did. This bumper, I just cannot wait to show you guys. It's the rear bumper. It's the complete bumper. So I don't have to purchase anything else. This is everything I, I, I need for the rear. And Burger Motorsports, shout out to you as well. And I cannot wait to install also the strut bar from ECS. Guys, there's so much. But without further ado, i see you guys in the next one. So peace out. Remember to stay humble. I love y'all so much. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.